Welcome, Achievers. To an easy Achievers. Early impressions of Hogwarts Legacy. I am solo today because I just want to talk a little bit about Hogwarts Legacy. Didn't know too many people actually playing this game, so it's just going to be me today. Um, of course, Easy Achievers, I come live every single Friday with a regularly scheduled video about the news, but this week is going to be just Hogwarts Legacy impressions. I might do a small review thing. I want to definitely do a spoiler cast for this game, but that's beside the point. Let's, let's move on to some early impressions. Um, so far... Great. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me give you a little background, just so you, just in case, first time you've seen one of my videos. This is, uh, I come into Harry Potter as a pretty big fan. I have both read uh, all the books and watched all the movies. Um, I am not, I would say, a diehard fan or something like that. I'm actually married to, I would consider a diehard fan. My wife is a huge Harry Potter fan. So, um, just to give you a little background. I know a good bit, but definitely not everything. Now let's move into the front of the content here. I wanted to get on to today to just give you some slight perspective, just in case you want to pick it up or you're looking for um, just some impressions on the games. I know not a lot of people reviewed this game, and if they did, the discourse around it's very up and down. So I want to give you my thoughts and discuss what I think about the game here. Now I am want to say i'm 20 hours in maybe slightly less than that i might be at around 18 uh somewhere around there uh and i don't want to spoil how the game progresses but i am in um i think i would say like the late the the ha the last half of the game i guess i would say if if like let's cut the game in half i'm definitely in the last half of the game i would consider um and there is a definitive way of being able to tell how time progresses in uh, this game. That is very cool, and I don't want to spoil. But um, so far, I like I started the game. I actually was able to. Uh, they have a cool feature where you can link if you have a um a Pottermore account. If you've ever like you ever did one of the um, I know a long time ago it got really popular to do like your little uh quiz to see what house you got into. I did that like. I think I did that 10 years ago now or something. Like that. I don't even know. A long time ago. Um, and I was able to actually port that here, which is really cool. So I did that. Um, and they still let you pick like what house and what wand and these things you want. Um, uh, it doesn't auto select like a guarantee. It does put it in, but you can still change it if you want, which is very cool. Um, did all that feel pretty immersed the school hogwarts is so incredibly dense i actually want to commend avalanche software of course the ones who made this game on how they were both able to make a incredibly dense part of the game in of course hogwarts and a little bit of hogsmeade and then also make an open world on top of that because of course you have hogwarts which is going to be probably you're spending the majority, I would say, of your time. Mm. So far, it's been the majority of my time. I think it's starting to get to where I am leaving school more and more. But it's where you're spending more. It's so dense. Um, uh, every time you're walking through one of the halls, something is happening. Um, a character is talking. Um, an event is happening. For an in instance, I was walking by early, actually today, this, this morning. Um, and... Three characters were interacting with each other. Two of them were holding down one character as he was floating. Very similar to like Willy Wonka. If you ate the, um, uh, when they ate the candy and they started floating up to the fan blades. Um, that similar thing happened here. I, I believe the character got stung by um, a type of bee in this game. I, th I think it's like a hummingbird or something. Um, I, I don't remember what it's called. I think a Billy Wink or, or, or something. And they were floating and they're trying to get him down. And they were having a conversation and joking. The two students like, realized that they have to go study, so they are gonna leave him there and they walk away. And he's like, "What are you gonna? What are you going?" He's like, hey, "We'll check you tomorrow." And he's like, "Tomorrow? How long am I gonna be here?" And a fourth character walks by and just looks up and goes, "Ah, the Billy Sting. You'll be up there for a week." And then walks away. And, uh, and that's just an example of how um, well all of this interacts together with all the different students and teachers interacting with each other. It's very it's very fun and 
that's actually something that I very much enjoy about this game. Um, I want to move into combat because that's actually something, if you had been following me with this game, something I actually thought might be the worst part of the game. I was pretty confident that Hogwarts would be very cool, and this game would at least facilitate a um, cool means of traversing Hogwarts and experiencing the world. But every time I saw combat, I thought it was pretty weak, as it looks like you kind of just mash buttons, pretty much. And it's actually much deeper than I thought. And it's about as deep as you want it to be. The game really wants you to use all the spells in your repertoire. Um, you're actually able to use 16 spells at any given time. And they actually use a slot system. So, like, you're able to s switch between different spell slots that you have four spells in and use them in combat, which is very nice. And the better I'm getting at combat, the more I'm realizing that I'm starting off combat in a very specific way and then switching to my second slot. Um, and by the way, every spell has separate cooldowns. So, like, I'll use um, Leviosa and then a character will float there. And then I might hit them a, a couple, and then I'll throw, like, a fireball at them. Then I switch to my second spell slot, and then I uh, flip them, which keeps them in the air, and then I do other things. You know, a big combo s similar to something that you'd see in, like, like a Devil May Cry game. But, like, you know, of course, not that, not that good, but very close to you're able to very much rack up a very high combo without getting hit. Um, it does have the Spider-Man... Batman Arkham mechanic of countering, which I always love. I love a good counter in a game, um, especially when you get that perfect counter and something happens very responsive. Um, this does have like skills, typical RPG type thing. Um, you're able to get a good bit of things because I believe the level cap is 40. So you're able to get about 40 of the skills, which I believe is like two thirds of all the skills. I don't think you can get everything. You can get pretty close, though. Um. But I do think combat is much better than I thought, and I, I think that's going to resonate with a lot of people because I'm I'm sure a lot of people thought combat is actually going to be probably one of the worst parts of this game. Uh, moving on to, let's talk about traversal. Uh, this is an open world game, and I feel like, um, that can be tiring. And I actually like how they did this. So, pretty early on, you're going to get <clears throat> a broom. Um, which uh, characters in the Harry Potter uh, universe use to fly around, there, uh, of course. And you use this broom, and you can summon it at any point, as long as you're not in Hogwarts and in Hogsmeade. And like in a dungeon, pretty much. And I find that it's actually very, very handy. Obviously, at any point, I can literally just fly, which, of course, like, I'm sure at home, you're like, of course, it's handy. But as we're entering, I think, as a open world fatigue if you're playing every game that comes out if you're not playing every game i don't think you're really feeling fatigue but if you're playing every single game coming out similar to what i do and i'm keeping up with every game release you're finding yourself kind of in that situation where you're like okay another open world thing i'm gonna run around that's why although close to protocol a recent game that came out had its issues i enjoyed it because at least it was linear and, and it was something uh different whereas uh, here we are just getting another open world and again i don't think this does anything hugely different to if you really are that tired of open world games i don't think this uh, this is something that is hugely different that will like blow you away but giving you that early means of traversing the world with the broom actually softened the blow quite a bit for me as i'm able to traverse any ways i want there are times where uh, very similar into um uh, Leg uh, Legends of Breath of the Wild, if you ever played that, where you can just kind of climb anything as long as you have enough stamina. In this war, I went, oh, I need to go up the mountain to get that. Oh, I can just get my broom. I just get on your broom, just go up, boop, you sit down. Very handy, very nice. I like that. It's not like other games where like, oh, I don't have the broom yet, so I got to run up this thing and, and all these things. So it, that is actually very, very helpful. Very much a fan of that. Um, second, um, with the traversal, you do, you will get more ways of traversing. Won't spoil just in case you haven't seen it, although it's been in trailers, but it is very cool how it happens. Um, I will, uh, uh, I do want to quickly touch on the story. Of course, no spoilers. The story is, the, the actual mystery of the story is intriguing. I am curious what's happening. I did hit 
in a very specific point where it seems like they're building something up in a specific character that's introduced that I, I I'm sitting here like, okay, they're using a kind of, uh, uh, they're using a certain thing. So I'm sitting here like, okay, I'm curious how I'm going to care. Cause right now the main story is actually something that I'm not super interested in. I am interested in how it uh, all turns out, but I'm actually more interested into the side stories. There's a character um, named Sebastian that you'll meet throughout uh, the game and he has certain um quest lines and in the, these things uh and he's investigating something um with his family and he has a friend as well uh and they're in slytherin together and he has a friend that has a very interesting last name and again won't I'm, I'm trying not to spoil anything so i won't say it but he, he has a very interesting through line if you are familiar with harry potter lore and playing that storyline and actually going through all of that is actually, in my opinion, the most interesting part of the game um, is uh, your little companions. I, I would call them a companion, although it seems like they tried to do a companion thing in this game, but I don't think it really works because you're not able to really bring somebody with you. You're not like going to somewhere and being like, hey, you want to come hang out with me while I do quests and you be like an, a, a silent body with me. That, that's not happening. I feel like they wanted to do that, but it just was too much. I, I, I'll say I'll say this uh, right now. Avalanche Software, I do not understand how they were able to make this game, if I'm being honest. I know they made um, uh, Disney Infinity, and I believe some port games. And I know Disney Infinity was actually very popular for a very long time. Actually, um, um, although they, of course, had to close it down, uh, Disney, because they, I think, overspent uh, quite a bit on that game. And they expected a bit too much, I think. But I didn't think they'd be able to nail an open world Harry Potter game. It just I we had nothing really to go on. I know they did a good job with Disney Infinity, but it's not something I touched, so it's not it's not like I can give first hand knowledge. And I am shocked at how good this game is, frankly, uh from from the specific studios. Uh, I, I did not think they had this in them, if I'm being perfectly blunt, but this is a, an incredibly deep game, and I am Actually curious how much money this cost. This has to be two hundred to three hundred million dollar game. Easily, I feel like there's just so much love in this game. There are so many things happening, and it is so dense. I feel like there's almost something always happening. The only time that's not happening is when you're in like a secluded forest or something like that, where you are pretty much by yourself. You're walking by, you're hearing enemies talk and these things, but it's not as um deep as you when you're walking in hogwarts i cannot believe they're able to nail the um population feel like in harry potter at no point do you think the school feels empty it's very grand very big very open it always feels very open and large there's always something happening there's always a ghost there's always a character trying to work on a potion or spell and they really nailed it in this. There's always something happening. If it's nighttime and you're walking around, there's two ghosts doing it back and forth. You might walk by some suits of armor humming. You might walk by a suit of armor doing something else. You might walk by and see someone sneaking around. You might go into a bathroom and see someone making polyjuice potion or something. like. They have nailed the feel of Hogwarts, which I feel like would have been the hardest part especially given uh, a budget you really don't think you could do both right you feel like you'd be able to do the open world or make hogwarts uh feel like hogwarts you don't really think you could do both but they did manage to do both i'll give them that i will say um however i have said a lot of praise about this game let's go into a couple negatives um uh i haven't had too many bugs but there are a couple of uh, visual bugs going on um nothing game breaking but every now and then there's a specific character on uh, one of your professors when i ever almost every time i talk to him there's a weird artifact thing going on with his head um something is maybe going wrong with the lighting or something i don't know but uh something very strange happens with his model sometimes um the game um is just another open world checkbox game if you really do boil it down um I don't think this does anything 
impressively amazing that I need to recommend it to everyone. I think if you are not a Harry Potter fan, this is probably a very average game to you. But if you are a very big Harry Potter fan, or if you even having a passing interest in Harry Potter, I think you will actually love this game quite a bit. Uh, and the and the factor of you being a Harry Potter fan will boost it up quite a bit, I believe. Um, but again, I do want to reiterate: if you if you watch maybe a movie or read a few of the books and you just don't care, you, this isn't gonna sell you on it. I don't I don't really think this does anything crazy. I don't think this moves the medium any forward in gaming. This isn't a giant. De- the obviously the biggest deal about this game is actually nothing to do with the game at all. It's with of course the creator, but that's a different video. Um, uh, I will uh, uh, say this, though. Um, uh, this isn't a... I don't think this is a must-play, again, unless you love the actual universe, and I feel like you wouldn't be watching this video if you knew you loved Harry Potter. Maybe you are. Maybe you are um, uh, being cautious with your money, which is very wise, I think. Um, but I do... This is with, again, 20 hours of experience giving you my first impressions of the game. I am very excited to play more. I think I'm going to get this done in the next week, maybe. Um, So I'm very excited to see that. I do really want to see how the game ends because, again, the main quest has been okay. Again, oh, and I didn't mention this. Quite a bit of puzzles. Quite a bit of puzzles, Um, especially in the main quest. I'm not a big puzzle guy. I'm not hating it. I did uh, in the the quest I just finished. I was getting a bit tired of it. I was actually doing it like, OK, let's get through this. I don't really want to do this. I feel like I'm getting a lot of puzzles. There's a lot of like side missions in the game that you can do. Those also have puzzles. So it's like, OK, feel like I'm doing a lot of puzzles. Feel like I'm not doing it. But if you sprinkle in the main quest with side things and they do an okay job of pacing in the main quest. So like you feel like you're always doing something uh, gradually better. Um, that's another thing about this game. The pacing is a little bit all over the place. Um, it's an open world game. So it is hard to really be like, you know, I, I can't really think of a great open world game that has pacing because you're doing other things. So it's, it's hard to say. I, I, I think Breath of the Wild actually did, had very good pacing, although I'm not as a huge fan as a lot of people are in that game. But um, I think I'm beginning to ramble, so I'm going to start um, closing things with... Uh, this is a great game. I actually uh, I do think this will be very good. I think this will be a lot of people's uh, game of the year. I won't be shocked, especially if you're a huge Harry Potter fan, like I said before. Um, I'd be curious uh, what everyone else thinks about this game. Uh, of course, the discourse on Twitter, it's already over. Everyone who was mad, it's over now. You know, it's been it's been a couple days. So it's like, eh, yeah, we've moved on. So it looks like everyone's moved on. So we can actually talk about the game now. So people, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know uh, if you're enjoying the game. If your impressions are lining up with me. Maybe you disagree with something about me. You know, give me give me your thoughts, of course, in the comments below. Uh, Twitter at even a thousand. If you have any questions about the game, I'm always open for questions about anything. Really, um, let me know. Uh, and if there's anything you want me to cover, any upcoming game that you want me to cover, just like this, uh, all you have to do is let me know. Thank you so much, and remember, go Chief. <laughs>